So by now uh, I woke up again and WordPress 5.9 was released um, this morning here in New Zealand and it's called Josephine uh, after Josephine Baker and uh, on the WordPress org news site you get a little introduction uh, why is it named Josephine and then um, we go through all the features and obviously full site editing is the biggest new features and this kind of pairs together with block themes, full site editing block themes and the 2022 theme being the first block theme, the first default block theme. And um, so we have a few more things like the navigation block and a better block control like spacing and the um, better overview of patterns. Um, since I've been working in the um, testing environment for quite so long and with the Gutenberg plugin active, I wasn't really 100% aware what is new in 5.9 core and what has just um, been there in the plugin, in the Gutenberg plugin for a while. But it's the first release where we can actually use a block theme and have uh, the Gutenberg plugin deactivated, which for production sites is so essential. You don't want to have um, the Gutenberg plugin in particularly active on a production site if you can deactivate it. So this is really huge for us uh, building block themes for the last um, six months or so already. It's really the first like first minimal release that we can say, okay, now we can actually work with that and tell people um, you can use block themes and it's it's a like a new start for us, which is amazing. So um, I want to take you in WordPress in the admin area through all these um, just quickly as a quick overview. I know my videos don't tend to be super <laughs> quick, but let's try to just give you a short overview. But since there's so many new things, um, it probably won't be that um, short of a video. So I have 2022 installed and um, when you update to 5.9, you have it as a new default theme already there. You can activate it and then I have um, our two block themes installed on my local environment as well. Um, by the way, someone asked me, I use um, local by flywheel and yeah, it's just easy and it's working pretty well for me as a local environment. Um, so the first thing we see, and I've like walked you through this yesterday in the 2022 theme overview, is the site editor. So for a lot of you, it's super new, you've never seen it, and it's really um, a little bit of a such a new environment and just the first version version of it as well that um, it needs some getting used to definitely. So. One of the coolest and I think most important features that's also new and they talk about it in the news editor site is um, this little thing here, this little icon and it opens and closes up the list view. And I think especially in the site editor, this is so essential. I, if I have the space, like if I have a bigger monitor, which is actually pretty helpful if you can um, kind of create space um, while editing your site. Uh, I open the list view and it's like control option O to open and close it like this. And this gives us a pretty nice overview of all the nesting going on and all the blocks and the outer container like the header and the query loop which is um, the outer block for related posts and then the footer. So if I close that up I just see everything that is on my home page and as you can see if I open the editor it's always the home page so either your blog later uh, like your default blog the WordPress blog or a particular home page you previously set in your settings um, so closing this up it becomes a lot easier and then you can just open the area you want to work in with so uh, one cool thing now is that you can actually drag and drop around blocks inside. Sometimes it's a little bit tricky to kind of get it in the way you want to go. Like if I drag and drop this, there's a little um, blue line showing me where I am and I can drag around things. And then I can just with, uh, I can also 
can I reword my changes? I'm not sure. Um, so yeah, you can actually drag around things and then opening this little options toolbar with each post. And I actually use that quite a lot too. I can delete things, I can duplicate things, which is helpful for stuff like um, separator blocks. You can easily um, copy and duplicate stuff here and in insert it at another um, area. So this is actually super important. We also get this little breadcrumb thing here in the bottom, but I used that previously, but now I use um, almost always the list view. So uh, another thing I always do in the site editor is this toolbar. Usually it's right above the block you're working with, but in the site editor, especially if I edit the header or footer, which doesn't have a lot of space, I use um, this little tool option here and uh, switch the toolbar to the top, which makes it a lot easier. So in the 22 theme, uh, 2022 theme, I um, yesterday I showed you, and I will link this video um, below here, is uh, that you can change the layout of your latest post pretty easily and you also still in the editor have these settings and it opens up your block settings just like in the post or page editor you, you were used to previously and then instead of post or page we have this template now which gives us the areas, the template areas we're working. So template areas or template parts um, let's like see how do we get like back or how do we get out of this editor or what else is there to explore. So clicking on the WordPress icon or if you have um, a site favicon installed, it's gonna be your website icon. You can click on it and this opens the editor navigation, this little black um, menu here and there you get an overview. So first you get a link back to the dashboard and you're back in your old dashboard and then appearance editor, you're back in the editor. And nothing happened to the actual WordPress admin area, this state stayed the same. So you're just in another like development area here and this will like grow over time. So it's really just the first version. So what I else, uh, what else do I get here? I ha I'm here on my site. So this is always your homepage and then I get templates and template parts. So templates are page templates. Um, this used to be PHP page templates, but with block themes, um, it's HTML templates and um, each theme comes with a set of templates you can use. And the cool thing and the new thing is that you can open up any page template, like even four or four page, you can open it up in the site editor and you can customize it, which is so cool. So I can customize the header here, which if I customize this header, customizes the header every on every page that it's used. So this is actually a template part. I show that to you in a minute. So I can, but I can customize the content here. I can change the text. I can delete certain blocks. It helps to have the list view open again. So see if I didn't want to have a search form, I would just go ahead and remove it and um, change my wording here or whatever. And then if I wanted to really save my changes, I would go ahead and everywhere, like on the, um, in the editor, if I save something, I get an overview where, which template or template part is actually saved. So I go here and I save that. If I now go back to my overview and I go on templates, um, what I see now 404 is the latest template I edited. And I get this little blue um, dot here showing me this is like the sign, oh, I customized this template. So um, I customized my homepage previously. This is still from yesterday and I customized the 404. So if I wanted to clear my customizations, if I wanted to go back to the default the theme came with, um, I have this little action icon and I go and I can clear my customizations. So now um, the 404 page is back to the state it came with the theme after activation. So um, let's go to template parts. 
template parts is the smaller area. So template parts are included like parts of templates and um, you have different kinds of templates here. So the 2022 theme comes with three kinds of headers and one kind of footer. Depending on the theme, this could be three footers, one header, so you have options. This means on the front end of the website, um, you have this black header on top and then you have this bigger header. This is another header of the 2022 theme in a, on another page. And you have this like with white background header on another page. So uh, depending on the page you create, you can use different headers, which is super new for WordPress and actually very, very helpful. So um, how do I go ahead and customize that? And I actually already did because I have my customization. So maybe I clear that um, to just quickly show you. So this is the default header. And um, here I see that I reverted my changes and I have this site um, logo. Again, I want to open my list view and I see I have the site logo. This is a new block, site logo block. And I have this because I used it previously. I don't want to have it. I just go ahead and remove it. And as you can see, I could remove it here, but it's actually for me, it's easier on in the list view here. I really work quite a lot with it. And now you see why I put the toolbar on the top here because it just gives me more space. And then I, at the moment I see the navigation block, which is also a new block. And this is quite complex. So I won't go into the setting details too much here. Uh, one thing I just want to mention is uh, this one, the overlay menu is pretty um, important that you set this up correctly. So by default, you have the just all your links shown in your header uh, and on mobile you have the little hamburger icon. So if you set this to off, you always have the full menu shown. And if you set this to always, you always have this like mobile optimized menu showing, which on some websites, this is actually cool to have on like minimal portfolio websites. It's pretty common to use it that that way. So, but this is the default. So, but what if I wouldn't want to have the list of all my pages, I could actually just go ahead and remove that. And then I have this little, um, just like gray, uh, I show it to you gray, um, thing here that indicates that I have an empty navigation block in here. So if I click on that, I get this little plus icon and I can insert um, custom pages. So I click on the plus and it gives me a little indication that I should now go ahead and um, add a link. <clears throat> and if you've created, obviously you would need to have like some form of pages or post or whatever you are uh, external um, links you want to link to. Um, so I have a page called about. So I link that. And then I just click on return on my keyboard <clears throat> to go to the next page. So I click on I maybe want to add the blog and then I remember I have a contact page. Um, so you have a super simple navigation. So um, in this video, I don't want to go like super into details of the navigation block because it's quite complex and um, I will do a separate video. I think it makes more sense, but you maybe want to go through all your settings and kind of play around with the options and um, uh, make yourself familiar with the core settings so you can change your uh, font and color of the links and so on. But yeah, I will do like a more detailed walkthrough of the navigation block. So if I save my navigation here, I have a new navigation I'm saving actually, um, just to keep that in mind and I can reuse it later. And I think what this, uh, the 2022 theme does, it, it automatically sets the same navigation to all the headers. Um, which is super helpful. So if I want to go back into my template parts, I um, have now the 
customized navigation. So um, this is just like, as I said, a quick overview of site editor template, template parts. I would suggest that you go ahead and play around with the settings and explore what kind of new blocks you see. And uh, then, yeah, I will do more like specific videos of um, like the topics, template, template parts, customizing header, footer. Um, I've done this a little bit already, but yeah, there's so much new to learn that I think we should um, kind of do it in little steps, but it's good to have an overview. Uh, one thing I want to um, mention is, so regarding the templates, uh, if you go in just the classic admin and uh, you have one of your pages or posts, it's, it, um, it's important for both. Under the page settings here, which um, you toggle on and off here, you have the templates overview in block themes. This is all just regarding block themes. And you have the pages, um, the page templates you can use on a page and the templates you can use on a post available here. So. It's important that you um, choose the right one you want to use um, for the specific content. Otherwise, um, you will have a different layout than what you expect. So you always need to choose the right one. That's regarding templates. So maybe let's have a look. Um, the next cool feature is definitely in block themes. It's um, a lot of the things you can create in your content, like layout, page layers and stuff is in patterns. So um, I'm not sure if this has been here before, the explore feature for patterns, but it's now way easier to get a better view of what kind of patterns are included in the theme. And actually you see this, um, it's if you open the 2022 theme, this is actually um, a dark green. I customized the color palette already yesterday, so I will show you in a minute how that works because that's another big part of the site editor. But let's quickly explore patterns. So here you have an overview of your pattern categories and um, you can just drag and drop them anywhere on your pages. And then here you have page patterns, which um, are beautiful design in the 2022 theme. And you really need to play around with these, um, drag them somewhere, see how the site looks, maybe change the page template. And then of course you can replace the image and um, yeah, just give it your own style and change the text. You obviously wouldn't want the logo, so you can always delete things. And um, here, what also is new is you have better typography settings now. So um, we could change the font size and you with this little plus um, view, you get more options like line height, letter spacing, and you can always reset all. So if I reset, I get the, the bigger one setting. I could also use a pixel size, but actually I wouldn't recommend that um, because then you have a fixed size and I don't, sh I'm not sure if it's um, like in the mobile view, this was actually would actually work pretty well. You can have it bold, you can have it uppercase, so you can really customize it um, in the patterns as you want them. And um, what else do we have? We have dimension settings that are super improved in the default blocks. So um, if you're familiar with Figma, this looks um, probably already quite familiar to you. So I can either have um, margins here for just the sides and you see these dimension settings in different kind of blocks. You can always like reset and then um, yeah, kind of have um, them all mixed together. So if I wanted to have like 20 pixel, I think I can also change. Yeah, I could um, percentage, I can use RAM, M, um, I have all kinds of options here. So this is really gives us a lot of flexibility for custom layout building. If um, you don't want to mess around with these, it's great to have these options if you don't need them and you can just drag and drop the patterns right in, it's probably easier. 
um, otherwise it gets pretty complex quickly and um, overwhelming. So if you can stay away from these and just use the default pre-designed patterns, I think it's way easier. But you have the options, which like is super great to have. Um, so this is the overview of the patterns and you can um, play around with these. You can always delete things there on the my favorite um, thing, the list view comes in handy so you can get an overview how the patterns are actually built. And once I click into just a particular area, if I scroll down, I see exactly where I am, which is also so helpful. This helped me a lot. So I can see this whole group thing, I think is the pattern. So if I, this is the outer group block and it's just wrapped and all the inner patterns are wrapped. So if I didn't want to have that, I can just remove it, which is super easy. Again, if I click into this area, I see, okay, this is um, a column outer block and everything else is wrapped inside and I can delete it. Uh, this way it's super easy. Like if I just click on the background and kind of scroll around, I see, ah, okay, this is my group block. And so the list view is pretty essential if you have more complex page layouts. So um, let's figure out, this is the patterns. So go ahead and explore. And um, let's see why I have this more like a turquoise color and not the default dark green color the 2022 theme comes with. Uh, and we are in the um, like styles, global styles thing uh, that also is a new feature in block themes and in the site editor. So global styles we find in the site editor. Sorry, I keep saying site editor. That was the previous name. Now it's only called the editor. So in the editor, we find this little icon here that called styles. And this is really an essential feature and maybe one of the first things you want to um, customize in your blog theme or change. So um, let's have an overview. So if I click on styles, I get this and it's also still in beta. So there will be a lot more changes. I get this little overview. So first I have typography, I have colors and layouts. And these three are like globally um, global customizations I can make. So a little bit similar to what we had before for themes used the customizer and had like global color changes and stuff. So now we have the styles um, settings and uh, I can customize these three elements or alternatively, I have also the option to customize settings like default settings in particular blocks. Uh, I show you quickly in an example. So if I wanted to change the this font just for the post title, uh, I open up my list view to see, oh, this is the post template block. And here I have my post title. So this is a post title block. It's not a heading. So um, I'm scrolling down here. I'm in the global styles and in the block category and um, I'm searching for my post title block. So this is all the blocks are listed here that you have installed. And I see I can change color typography. So if I wanted to change the font of the post title, I can actually do this here. See now I use the system font, which is the sorcery font. And I could um, customize the line height if I want to make it a little tighter and I can customize the, the default size as well. I'm not going to do that. And I could, let's say I want to make them semi bold. I'm not changing the custom size because I would actually do that just on uh, in the post title pattern. So, um, I save my settings and now I get this little indication. Okay, I'm adding custom styles. So this is customizing blocks. So let's go and check out uh, what I have in the global style. So this would apply to everything in this theme. So I have elements. I can customize the default font family. I could um, choose the serif font that comes with 2022. And this depends like this list depends on the theme. I could customize the size. I can customize the default line height that is set. 
and uh, that's pretty much all I think we should do and I could do the same for the links then one pretty cool thing is the colors so everything comes with a color palette and a gradient palette and duotone palette um, gradients and duotone is not necessary I think some themes have it and some don't and then the 2022 comes with this called default color palette that it's wordpress default but i think most blog themes have this deactivated so um, you can kind of ignore that so this is all the theme colors and i've customized these already and if i wanted to delete my customizations i would go to um, open this little color options and i could reset it so now i'm back to the default color palette the 2022 theme comes with but um, if i didn't want to have like all my buttons in the patterns and so on in the dark green but my custom color i could edit the themes color palette so i go into primary and um yeah i've added this before and i change my primary color and then i go into secondary and as you can see i kind of sticked with a darker color for primary because it was a darker color before and now i can choose a lighter color for um for my secondary color because it was a lighter color before so um, i do this because for instance i know that the primary color is used for buttons and the buttons in 2022 have by default um, a white font color and um, i want to if i want to keep that it's good to to stick with these kind of light to light and dark to dark colors um, you could also customize that and then you would need to change the default text color for buttons but let's keep it like that it works best i think it's a good recommendation so i can click done and then now i have my custom color palette and if i go just quickly back into a page and show you the patterns now they should have the new colors applied so see that's pretty cool i customized the global colors and i don't even need to change anything that i've already um, dragged into my page and i also all my patterns now have this new color applied so that's pretty awesome i don't need to change anything in the patterns i don't need to change anything on the pages i've already created um, except if you would have changed this to a custom color then um, it wouldn't be the color palette so for buttons and so on i would recommend to stick with the color palette and change these and uh, this way you get like a um, your design stays kind of um, conform and doesn't get messy so you don't have like five button colors uh, applied and stuff so um, rather stick with the color palette that comes with the theme and change these colors instead of like going into every button and making it a custom color because once you make a custom color of your button block uh, like this one time here it stays the custom color it's not gonna be applied with um, with the color palette color so actually I think we've kind of covered the basics uh, the block theme full site editing and things comes with so we have patterns we can work with patterns and this applies to pages and post we have the site editor with the global styles customizations this really much like kind of replaces the customizer we have um, in the site editor templates which are the page templates and we choose those here in the um, page settings for each page and also for post you can um, you have different post templates now which is awesome you can have kind of um, smaller posts without default featured images and large post layouts so there's a lot of new creative options for theme developers uh, going on this is really cool and i think you're gonna see a lot more um, creative um, output like creative themes coming out as i said this is really just the start of it um, of full site editing and block themes then um, we have template parts to customize headers and maybe one thing i should um, show you because i haven't showed that is in templates how you can replace the template parts so if i'm here on the home page 
I'm in the site editor back in it and I open my list view just I kind of I'm a little bit of a control freak so I like to have this overview available um, and I'm in my uh, header here so what I can do is I can change the template part so now on my home page I use the header dark small as a template part and I've sticked this toolbar to the top remember here on top toolbar I still have that um, so I see this here on the top I have a header dark and I have this replace button so every time I have the option to replace a template part on a page template on a template I can do that so I click on replace and then I see my alternative options so on my home page if I wanted to have just the white header or if I wanted to have this large header I can choose it just like that so let's do the large header um, so automatically uh, the other header gets applied so you have to be sure to click on this outer um, template part here on the template block um, it doesn't work if you're in the group block and then you see the replace option and you get the replacement options of the template parts that are available so just to show you that I think this is the only thing I haven't showed um, and I haven't gone into the details what's new like regarding spacing and new border settings I think that's also a separate video but I hope this gives you kind of a good overview of um, full site editing and what is new and what you can kind of look into and explore and if you have any questions or any like ideas for um, new videos or like more details that I should explain please let me know in the comments and yeah I hope yes, this was kind of helpful for you to get started explore the 2022 theme or other blog themes um, you can filter under appearance themes you can filter full site editing there's a filter called uh, full site editing to get all the blog themes available right now in the directory and yeah we are also creating new blog themes and it's super exciting because there's so much more creativity and creative options for layouting and with patterns it's easy to make these available also for beginner users so they don't need to like fiddle around like crazy in in the blogs um, it's kind of like fast ready to go and yeah the the global styles are amazing um, and there's gonna be more features coming probably like custom global styles I hope so it's gonna be really exciting and this is just like the bare bone minimal full site editing version in 5.9 that is out there so um, yeah bear that in mind that it's just like a really minimal version of and, and we're gonna see that changing over the upcoming month and, and this year probably a lot so um, yeah let me know what you think about full site editing about blog themes about WordPress 5.9 and thanks so much for watching and yeah let's um, talk soon thanks so much bye